Hey, what up? Lazy here as always. In this episode, we're back on Forza Horizon 5, and it has been a while since I uploaded a video. I'm sorry, it's... I've just been upgrading shit and life. But, we're here with this, the Mazda MX-5. If you watched Clear to McFarland's channel or the Booster Boys channel, you should know where this is going. So let's jump in and get this burnout build started. Okay, so the real life car has a K24 swap. I can't do that. The best I can do is this, a 2 liter straight 4 VVT, which is a K20. I'm going to leave it rear wheel drive. The real life car has a turbo, so I'm going to go for that. We do not need a wide body or any other body mods. As for the tire compound, I'm going to leave that stock. For the front tire width, I'm going to go up to a 195. Yep, rims are staying the same, so are the sizes. For the front track width, I'm going to max it all the way out. Jumping into the clutch, I'm going to upgrade it all the way. I'm going to leave the stock transmission in it. I'm also going to leave the stock drive shaft. However, I'm going to go with a drift diff. Jumping into here, I'm going to max out the brakes and I'm going to chuck on drift suspension. We don't need sway bars or a cage. However, I'm going to go with a weight reduction. Yep, right there. Alright, as for the power mods, all I'm going to do is go with the anti lag turbo. Awesome, so that sounds good. So now we just chuck on a flywheel, 415 horsepower, 291 foot pounds. The paint is already done. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Now let's jump in and drop in a tune. Okay, so for the tune, I'm gonna leave the front tire pressure where it is. I'm gonna jack the rear up to 55 PSI. I can't touch the gearing. For the alignment, I'm gonna take all the camber out of the front and leave negative 1.5 in the rear. Uh, all the rest seems good. If you want to download this tune, share codes at the bottom of the screen. For the brakes, I'm going to go with 80 and 10 as I usually do with these burnout builds. Yep, right there. And I'm going to lock the diff at 100 and the zero is fine. Awesome, so there's a tune done. Now let's hit the burnout pad, shall we?
awesome. So there we go. Unlike the real car, I managed to keep this off the wall, which is a big plus. Overall, for a low horsepower, low torque build, this is spot on. If you'd like to see this a little bit more, leave me a comment down in the comments below, obviously. But that's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll catch you next time. Laters. Also, bonus points on how many beers I've drunk while editing this.